in keeping with the protocol already established, Madam Chair, we believe that the aim for our youth should be to contribute to our personal development and encourage our active involvement in our corporate sector. Madam Chair, my most worthy opponent would have said that the corporate sector is all about making money, money, money. <laughs> but, but we still need to train and educate these persons to make the same kind of money, money, money. <laughs> already equipped with to help us to decide what we want to do when we leave school. Madam Chair, I had a recent interview with the Project Officer of the Youth Empowerment at the Ministry of Complex, Kanti St. George's, and he said, and I quote, if the corporate sector had the responsibility of training and educating our youth, they would be given the opportunity, they were given the opportunity to learn and what they want to do in life, in the court. Madam Chair, we know that today's young people are tomorrow's future managers, CEOs, accountants, doctors, and even the Prime Minister of our nation. In the responsibility to educate and train our young people today, for we, the proponents, believe that a corporate responsibility is more useful when exercised for the benefit of those who make the corporate sector the corporate sector by the body. Madam Chair, we know it is very hard to get a job without obtaining adequate experiences related to our chosen fields of work. But this is where our corporate sector comes in. Mm -hmm. They are the ones best qualified to educate and According to the International Labour Organization, ILO, and I quote, in Barbados, they target on skills unemployed in age 16 from a vocational training board program, also skilled training programs, target the 16 to 25 age group. Two recently started programs in Barbados are the National Youth Services, which began in 1991, and the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme Initiative in 1995. Madam Chair, the young people get a chance to make new friends as well as experience the job. They also learn the disciplines of work such as time management, regulation, and the importance of teamwork. <coughs> the conditions of work such as the environment, longer hours, and longer hours and the fridge benefits. And most importantly, Mr. Chairman, they learn the rules performed by management and trade events. Madam Chair, our youth through the job training, Grand <laughs> Lake has spent time and money to educate many youth from 21 secondary schools on the process of debating, develop other critical thinking and presentation skills. In doing so, Grand Lake it's also developing students' public speaking every time a debate is held. And it's also exposing the other thousands of Canadian youth to the debating process via live and other television broadcasts. Madam Chair, we have our young leaders program sponsored by the RBTT Bank. And we also have the Chamber of Commerce Junior Achievers program. Madam Chair, the long-term rewards of maximizing productivity will benefit both the corporate sector, the youth, and Grenada as a whole, as human resource development is vital to our nation's success. So yes, the corporate sector can and should be encouraged to accept its fundamental responsibility to educate, to educate and train Grenada youth. Madam Chair, I rose. I spoke. And now I leave my most worthy colleague to summarize what the first speaker and myself had just said. Thank you.